I came out because Farmer Fred came in earlier today and told me we had a visitor in our carrot patch. So I came out to see what was visiting our carrot patch and to my delight, but a little bit of unhappiness, um, I discovered that I have some swallowtail caterpillars in my carrot patch. The swallowtail caterpillar is the caterpillar stage of the swallowtail butterfly. One of the pollinators that loves to hang out in my garden, especially when the butterfly, butterfly bushes here right behind me are blooming. They aren't quite blooming yet, but they will be blooming soon. And when they do, this little guy will hatch into a butterfly, metamorph into a butterfly, and the butterfly doesn't have far to travel to get to the butterfly bush. I don't really like having caterpillars eat my carrot tops. However, the swallowtail caterpillar also likes a couple of other things in my garden, one of which is a weed, and that is dillweed which in my garden is pretty much what it says it is, a weed. So I'm going to take this little guy and take him off of my carrots and we're going to transfer him onto my dillweed where he can live happily and eat as much dillweed as he wants and my carrots will not have their tops completely destroyed by this little guy. I've gone ahead and picked the caterpillar and he's still on the carrot top but I've got him next to another carrot top here, which he has managed to eat all of the leaves off. And we're gonna take him now over to the dill plant and transfer him onto the dill plant. This is one of my dillweed plants. It comes back every year and all, all along my asparagus bed here, they come back, they, this is the seed pod of the dill plant and that will develop the seeds, the seeds fall on the ground and next year we'll have a whole bunch more dill plants. These little guys also like parsley but today we're going to take him off of my carrots and I'm going to put him, come on little guy, go on to the dill. There you go. Oh, I know you want to stay on the carrots, but you can't eat my carrots. There, oh, well, that's a little bit. Let's see if we are happier down here on this piece. There, now that's better. Come on, get back up on there. You can do it. There we go. Now you'll be happy on my dill plant. There I see he's already starting to eat the dill plant. He hardly knew he got moved. I actually have several more of these little guys that I'm gonna go over and get before they also destroy my carrot patch. And uh, we'll check in on them here and once I get them transferred to a couple of other plants and see how they're doing. So I've collected a second caterpillar from the swallowtail butterfly and I'm going to take, we're going to take him over to another different dill plant and we'll transfer him to the other dill plant here. Let's go over there and do that. We have a couple of dill plants here. One is a little younger than the other one and I'm going to put him over here on this dill plant today. It's always a bit of a challenge to get him off of the carrot and onto the dill. This looks like a sturdy of enough stem to put him on. Hey little guy. I know, you don't want to go. There we are. Let go. There you go. Put you right here on there. It's delicious. You'll love it. Come on, I know. There you go. Oh, look at that. A butterfly came to say hello. There he's crawling right down the stem looking for some food. Over here, buddy. There's some delicious dill for you to eat. There, now you found it. No? Uh, he's still looking. He's still looking for the dill, but he'll find it and he'll be enjoying it shortly. Dill and parsley are two of the favorite foods of a swallowtail butterfly caterpillar. 
So we're going to walk along here and just check in on the four swallowtail caterpillars that we transferred from our carrots to our dill. Here's the first one. Here's the next one. You can see he's right at home enjoying a nice snack of dill leaves. This one also be, appears to have settled in quite nicely. And here is the last one on this dill plant. And he's also enjoying his morning breakfast, maybe it's lunchtime for him, of fresh, delicious dill. I wanted to come out here today and talk to you a little bit about pollinators in the garden and why they're so important. Also what they indicate when you have pollinators in your garden. When you have pollinators, they're important for a number of reasons. One is that they create a diverse bioecosystem, which says that your garden is a healthy garden here. You can see at this plant right here, we have a couple of different pollinators. We have a couple of butterflies as well as a couple of bumblebees. Any other, also other pollinators would include hummingbirds, moths, and any other flying insects. Even things like beetles can be pollinators. Pollinators are also important because they are able to transfer the pollen from the male plant to the female plant and pollinate it. When a plant is pollinated, then it's able to produce fruit and eventually will create seeds that can be harvested for next year's crops. In addition to that, you want pollinators in your garden because when you have a lot of pollinators or have attracted a lot of pollinators to your garden, that can reduce your use of chemicals in your garden. When you have an organic garden like mine, that's very important because you don't want to use any chemicals on your plants, especially plant chemicals that might be... Now look at this. Wow. I have a bee and a butterfly right here by my hand. That's amazing. Anyway, when you can enjoy something like this beautiful butterfly that's right here by me, chemicals are toxic to a lot of the pollinators, so reducing the use of chemicals in your garden is important. It also can reduce the use of chemical fertilizer. Here in our garden, we create and make all of our own fertilizer from organic matter. So. As a result, we have a lot of pollinators and these milkweed plants are planted just in front of my vegetable garden. So my vegetable garden they attracts the milkweed or the vegetable garden attracts the pollinators as well as the milkweed here. Thank you for watching this little video. If you found it informative and helpful, please click that like button, subscribe, as well as sign up for notifications so that you can continue to help my analytics and I can continue to bring you these amazing videos from my garden and from my backyard. For more great gardening tips and techniques, as well as information about how you can have an organic garden and enjoy some pollinators in your garden, go to my website at growwithdrjonette.com.